I just found this website that's gonna kill rotoscoping inside of After Effects forever. After finding out about this website, I don't know if I'm really ever gonna be using the After Effects rotoscope tool anymore. In this video, I wanna show you this really helpful website, but then also compare and contrast what the difference between After Effects rotoscoping is and this new website that I think is gonna kill After Effects rotoscoping forever. But before we get into the video, I do wanna let you know about my amazing editing packs and presets. And especially if you like rotoscoping out effects, I have a bunch of presets you can drag and drop on inside of After Effects. As soon as it's rotoscoped out, which with this new website, it's gonna be super easy. You can just drag and drop the preset on the background and it's instantly done for you. I got the motion warp pack that gives these really cool smooth transitions, the liquid explosion one and V2, which are just no brainer trippy effects and a bunch of other editing packs. I'll have them linked down below as well as my new After Effects plugin, Shake Sauce 2, that'll have a seven day free trial down below that way you can try it out 100% risk-free. If you use After Effects, you like Shake Effects, Go check it out. Cancel it anytime if you don't absolutely love it. But that's enough talking. Go ahead and drop a like on this video and let's get into After Effects slash this website. So here in After Effects, I have this clip from the new J. Cole and T. Grizzly music video. I see that there's a lot of motion here. This would be a hard clip to rotoscope T. Grizzly out properly. And I just wanna go ahead and show you real quickly. I know everyone's familiar with rotoscoping inside of After Effects, but how hard it can be when your subject's moving around a lot. So go ahead and just double clicking on this. We kind of have to paint out T Grizzly. It's not super easy. You know, you kind of have to go and click around like that. And then you kind of mess up. You do a little reverse by holding alt and then you can kind of click play. And it, it's honestly doing a pretty good job. You can see it's messing up there. It got a little bit of J Cole's head, but if we were to go ahead and just click freeze now and render it out how it is, this obviously wouldn't be a good rotoscope. So you can see how there's a harsh line here. It goes on J Cole's head. So, you know, you would obviously go and unfreeze that. And then you'd have to go frame by frame and kind of like tweak it, make it fit right. Uh, there's his finger like this, boom, you know, and do that for every single frame. Everyone's familiar with how rotoscoping inside of After Effects is. I just wanted to show you what the After Effects process looks like. Now I'm not going to go through and rotoscope this whole thing because like everyone's done it. You know what it looks like. It just takes, you know, going frame by frame, making sure everything's good. You can see that one messed up. We'd go ahead, alt, remove, miss some of his finger. You know the whole process. So with this amazing website, all you have to do is just render out your clip. So we have our clip here and whatever editing software you're in, you can just go to file, export, add render queue. However you render it, if you're in Final Cut, whatever, that's a nice thing too. Like if you're not an After Effects user, you're going to be able to rotoscope without having to have a plugin or anything like that. I know like Final Cut users have to have plugins. This is also really good for Premiere Pro. So we can go ahead and render out our clip. See, that takes a second. And then on the website, I'll have a link down below. It's 100% free. I think there are some usage things right now. So you might not be able to use this in commercial videos at the moment. Do your own research. Obviously don't use this in a project if you're going to get in trouble. So read the rules, but I just wanna show you how insanely useful this tool is. I think there's also a model that you can go ahead and download and have on your computer. That way you don't have to have the website. But for right now, we're using the website. We're gonna go ahead and click upload and then upload our clip. Obviously it depends on your internet speed and the website, but it'll take a second to upload. I think this is a little bit better than going through and rotoscoping. And then all you have to do to rotoscope out your subject is just click on the subject. It's actually insane. And then you just click track objects and it's done. Like <laughs> this website is insane. It's literally going to take over all of rotoscoping because there's no way I'm going to go frame by frame any longer. And if you do have to like tweak little things, you can actually go ahead and do that. So like if something messes up, you can just click where it messes up and it will fix it. Like you saw, I did it here. I just added a point because it was kind of missing. So it's, you know, not absolutely perfect, but I think it would have been fine if I didn't do that. I just wanted to make it a little bit better. You can see maybe even here, just like add that little spot right there. If you really wanted to like make the perfect rotoscope, you could spend a lot of time, but with one click, you're gonna be pretty much done. They have like different effects. You can like scroll through and, and see the different effects. Honestly, it's, you know, nothing too good. <laughs> Uh, but you can see they can do some stuff for you. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it to original. And then if you see the one out of four, that will mean it's just the normal. And then you can go ahead and what you're probably gonna wanna do is remove your background. So this one's a black background, a white background, and then a green background. We'll do the green background for the tutorial. And the nice thing is too, you can also do multiple different subjects. And I'll just show you that before I render out. So if I click start over, you can go ahead and just click T Grizzly and then click add another object and then just click on J Cole and then literally click track objects and then just like that you have both of them rotoscoped out which is insane so what we're gonna do is do the original one out of four just make sure it says that because otherwise like it applies different effects so just make sure you're on one out of four on the original and then for the background click erase and we're gonna do that green 
then you go next, and then you just click download. And then all you do is go ahead and open that video footage because it is in the demo right now. I think it renders out at a lower resolution. So you can just upscale that. I think if you also download the model, you might be able to remove this modified the segment anything to demo, and you'll also have higher resolution. But I just wanna show you how like, this is the way this website's going and it's insane. And then if you use an effect like key light 1.2 and then just click green, you can see it automatically removes everything. You can kind of toggle it on and off and see how good of a rotoscope it is. For most of the time, this is gonna be like perfect. If you have something around your edges, you can also go to screen mat and just change this number up till it fits your clip a little bit better. And now you can do any rotoscoping effect you want. Like I said at the beginning of the video, if you like rotoscope effects, you'll definitely like all of my editing packs and presets, including my motion warp pack, the liquid explosion and the liquid explosion V2. I'll have them linked down below. And also just because you've watched this far in the video and I appreciate you watching, I'll actually do an insane deal, a buy one, get one free exclusive to this video. So if you're watching this video, don't go ahead and share it with everyone. It is an insane deal. Just use code rotoscope BOGO at checkout and you you can go through and get any two editing packs on my site for the price of one, which is really, really insane. I'll go ahead and show you a few of them just so you can be like, whoa, this is how crazy of a deal it actually is. So let's go ahead and drag on from my motion warp pack. This is an absolute necessity. I would recommend you get this one for sure. We can drag on like the whip left onto the background layer. And then you can see just like that, we have an insane transition just like that with literally a click and drag. You can see here's the opposite way. So instead of left, it goes right. There's up, down, there's turbulence. There's just so many different presets inside of here. You can see all the crazy stuff you can get done. It's actually insane. And then if you like the more trippy style effects, you can see how something like this, the Rick and Morty, that's a go-to. A lot of people really like this one from the, from the Liquid Explosion V1. And these are all customizable too, by the way. You can change the color of these once you have the preset installed. It's not like you have to have it be pink. You can match it to your video very easily takes a second to render sometimes, and then you can see. And you can go through and change the color of any of these, but you can see how real quickly you can just drag on these trippy presets from the Liquid Explosion, V1, the V2, the Motion Warp presets. And then also, if you have Sapphire and Universe, the Opium Universe Bank is insane. If you like these kind of like a little bit more like trippy, but subtle kind of background effects, you can see how just with a drag on, you can have these really, really crazy looking effects. The fly shit ones, like one of my favorites, like this distort grain insane how you can just apply that to your footage with just a drag and drop. Like I said, use code rotoscope BOGO at checkout. I know it's a long discount code, but it's worth it. Trust me, you're going to get two packs for the price of one and you can do that unlimited time. So if you want to go through and get all four of the packs I just talked about, the liquid V1, V2, motion warp and opium, you can do that. So it might take a second to type it out, but it's going to be worth it. Trust me if you like these rotoscope out effects, but I really just wanted to come on here and show you guys this new website that I'm going to be using to do a lot of my rotoscoping, especially if they increase the quality of the rotoscope where you can download it at a higher resolution and also remove that watermark because this is a no-brainer especially for stuff that's like hard to rotoscope like quick movement and stuff like that you know how hard and how long it takes but that's pretty much all i got for you guys in this one if you did make it all the way to the end of the video i really do appreciate you if you haven't already dropped a like on the video go ahead and do that and if you're not subscribed i really would appreciate it i upload videos like this all the time super helpful stuff in the video editing and vfx niche but i will see you in the next one peace